train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. First of all, it, it lets us know there is a way. Look at somebody say, there's a way to train him up. There, there's the way he's supposed to be trained. Hmm? So train him up in the way that he should go. And so he's supposed to be directed. I'm going to go to Ephesians about the children. Obey your parents. And this is the first uh, uh, commandment with promise, okay? That, that's coming up. And we're going to go to Colossians and why be submissive to the husband, okay? Look at somebody say, it's a family affair today. We're dealing with the family, baby. Because we, we huh? Now, 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 now. First of all, let's deal with our responsibility to torture. We got to train them up the way that they should go. Look at somebody. There is a way your child or your children supposed to be trained. Hmm. They're not supposed to be uh, training themselves. I told you Wednesday night, you, you got the wrong kind of relationship with your daughter if she's your friend, your girl. They said sometimes, they said, you know, y'all look like two sisters. You get to smile because you want to claim your, your, your youthfulness. Huh? And you, now y'all think y'all like two sisters, and you know, she's my girl, and y'all get excited because y'all wearing each other clothes and all that. You do not have that kind of relationship with your daughter. You, your daughter, mother. I don't care how y'all look. I don't care what size you are. You don't have, she's not your girl. She, she's not your best friend. Your man that you cling to supposed to be your best friend by scripture. That's the problem you got now. He's not your best friend. Your daughter your best friend. And you're communicating with your daughter and telling her stuff. You're supposed to be telling your man. Now, baby, when you birthed her, the biblical card was cut. That, 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 that close, that connection is cut. Now you, 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 you protect her. Now you enter into cover. Now you enter into oversight. No, now you enter into a, 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 a authority figure in her life. And you her mother. Because when you treat her like your girlfriend or your best friend, y'all don't have y'all gonna have that kind of relationship. You're not gonna have this mother-daughter relationship when you need to bring her up in, in, in the admonition and nurturement of the Lord. We come into that. That's why she ain't listen to you. You haven't established what kind of relationship we got. Huh? You know, mama, my daughter, we we just we just best friends. She can tell me everything. And, you know, we just, you know, we got that kind of relationship with her. That's your problem. You need to tell her I'm your mother. I've been given a charge. I've been given a mandate to train you. Which means to direct you and to guide you into holiness. I'm dealing with church folk. To push you into the things of God. Because if I train you up in the way that you should go. Look what the Bible said. Uh, uh, when he is old, can I say she? She will not depart from it. You need to understand what that's saying. It's not saying they won't go to straight. But it's saying to the birth, they have a foundation to come back to. If you never train them up and when they get out there and face life head on, they have nothing to come back to. And that's where that wondering coming in. And that's where that connection to get to the game come in. Because what they missing is a family. If I teach you this and you behold it, you're going to create a family atmosphere. So when they get out there and fail and fall and they will, then they come back to what's been established. And since, Brother Russell, this relationship was never established, and when they face life, huh, the inner makeup of them is, is, is craving family. Look, somebody said you were designed for family. That's why it's so easy for them to buy what they're selling out there. It's family what we're craving. Huh? 
as closeness and protection as what we're claiming, and that's what they promise. We're going to protect you. Huh? So since you didn't establish nothing for them to come back to, and it's automatic in them to come back to, because it's by, look at somebody, it's by design. Huh? It's by design that man won't woman. It's by design that man craved lust after woman. Because he was, he, he was designed. In fact, Bible said woman was made for man. That's the reason why Tars and Moo, when you look at the, the chimp, don't make Tars and Moo. The elephant don't make Tars and Moo. It's Jane that make him. Ooh. If he ain't hollering, he ain't got no Jane. But when he find his Jane, the neighborhood is going to know it. Oh, she got it down, baby. She got it down. Y'all hear the holler in the background. Got a strong man, got a strong. That old man Otis said, got strong, man, got strong. Now, train them up. You got to, there is a way they got to be trained. Now, now, Bible say, bend the sap while it's young. You got to bend the tree while it's young. The problem that we have, we're trying to bend old trees. Baby, you can't bend no tree. The problem we have in the house, you wait till they get grown, and now you're trying to straighten them out. You're going to mess around and get straightened out in that house. Because you let them get used to having their room. That, that, that's my TV. That's, that's, that, uh, 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 that's my telephone. That, that, that's my bed. And what happened is they have, they have embraced and got the concept of ownership. In fact, they tell you, mama, you need to knock on the door when you come in my room. This is my room, which means this is my domain. You got to understand that was put in them by God. Ownership and domain was put in you by God. Because he gave Adam dominionship. He gave him an oversight of the garden. Huh? That authority, that ability to rule was put in our nature. Now what happened is you got to temper that. You got to train it. Huh? You got to shape and mold it while it's young. Because without any guidance, it's, not, it's just like illustration. It's just like all this power coming into this building. There's a reason why we have a meter box back there. It's to regulate the power, huh? Because without a meter, well, it, 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 the building wouldn't be here because it's burning up. Everything is coming in full thrust. Everything is coming in in its full capacity. So they have a meter box or a regulator to regulate the power that comes into it. I come to tell you the potential is already in them. But that's where your guidance got to come in because you got to regulate what, ha what they have in them. Because I come to tell you they're going to grow up to be men. They're going to grow up to be women. They're going to grow up to be kings. They're going to grow up to be queens. And you got to understand the power and the thought that come with kingship. I'm preaching up in here. That's why we got to take oversight while they young. Take your seat. Your biggest mistake. Your biggest mistake was to let years pass by. I said Wednesday night and I didn't start it. Make no sense. She's walking around eight, nine. He's walking around eight, nine year old. You can't control. Don't make no sense. In first and second grade, and you can't handle. Don't make no sense. P 
pastor, I can't do nothing with them. I can't, you that thought, well, baby, so why you can't do nothing with them? Get up, do what they want to do, stay up, but later they want to stay up. Go in there and fix their own food, cook. And it's good. These things are going to come out at a set time. But she's five years old, baby. She don't even be cooking no breakfast at 3 o'clock in the morning. Huh? That's why you just got to get your lady's tail up out of bed. Or make her go to bed. Huh? I mean, you get in there and go to bed. They're going to tell you what they want to eat, when they want to eat, and all that kind of, and we're just letting it go. I'm telling you, that seed is growing. Because, see, some of y'all done ran into some problems with these grown trees. Uh-huh. And what, what will happen is you reaping what you let go. You having so much trouble, or can I say hell now, because you didn't correct some stuff when they were knee high. You didn't correct some stuff when they on their knees, and now they begin to grow. And, and as they grow and develop, their mindset grow and develop. And, and, and now they, they, the voice is getting thick, and, and they're they getting more stubborn now, because you didn't stop some stuff when you had time to stop it. And now this tree is grown. When that tree was like that, baby, you can twist it and bend it and shape it and make it do what it want to do. But you got a tree about this big and now you try to bend that tree and that tree gonna come back with some rebellion that tree gonna come back with some starter because what that tree said I refuse to bend and now you got all this stuff that's going on in your house 